Good morning and thank you for joining me for Fall Equinox 2022. I am on the shores of Lake Superior. We are at a location called Point Iroquois Lighthouse and we are approximately 30 miles west of Sault Ste. Marie. This is Lake Superior and very near here the waters congregate and they go down the channel through St. Mary's River to Lake Huron. Yesterday I visited the area where the St. Mary's River came into the Huron Lake. So we have a continuation of the beautiful waters of our Great Lakes. I chose to hold our very short fall equinox ceremony here on the shores of Lake Superior because this morning during ceremony I'm going to be gifting to the Lake Superior the rock that Lake Ontario is gifting to Lake Superior. As you know fall equinox is a time in our calendar year, in our seasons, when we acknowledge all that we have accomplished so far this year. And now it is time to finish up with the harvesting and to clear away anything that no longer serves. It's a matter of pulling up the, the plants that are done providing their fruit. It is trimming down the trees. It is closing things up. It's getting ready for the harsh winter frost. It is a preparation time. It's a time for us to set things down and claim completion. And so one thing I'd like for you to consider over the next several days during this fall equinox window is completing things setting things aside, being done. In our Western culture, we have a very challenging time completing things. And so working with the energetics of the fall equinox gives us the opportunity to set things down with ease and grace, to set things down with no more, you know, guilt or shame attached to them. They served, they are done, complete work with the energetics of fire if if you need work with the energetics of water whatever allies you have in our natural world call them in and ask them for assistance speaking of allies i always work with the ally of tobacco and i work with tobacco on a very regular basis Anytime I'm really um, challenged with something, if I'm stuck on something, I will work with a bit of tobacco to assist me in breaking it up so that I can manage it just a little bit uh, more gracefully. So this morning I will do a very short tobacco blessing and then I will place the rock into the beautiful waters of Lake Superior. Oh, oh tobacco. Please take my prayers, oh tobacco, please take my prayers. Tobacco blessings, blessings to you and blessings to the elements of fire. Please assist me now in taking our prayers to Spirit, Creator, Source. Blessings to the east. Beautiful sunrise today. Blessings to the south. Be gratitude to you. Blessings to the west. So honored. The west is aligned with the fall. We are moving into the energetics of the west. Deep gratitude to the spirit of the west and all the masters that live there and all of the beings who assist. Blessings to the spirit of the north. 
great honor. We look forward to working with you during winter solstice. Blessings to Father Sky. Deep, deep gratitude to Mother Earth. Thank you, Pachamama. Deep gratitude. Great blessings and honor to Lake Superior. Such a beautiful morning here. Greetings to all of the beings here. The aspen, the cedar, all of the plants and animals that live here. On these shores of Lake Superior, Last evening when we arrived, the waves were enormous. It was very intense. The wind was coming directly from the north, directly at us. <laughs> it was just incredible energy of release. Talk about fall equinox energetics. I'm grateful that the wind has died just a little so that I can actually be out here on the shoreline without being completely chilled. It was 45 degrees yesterday as well. Great gratitude to Lake Superior. Blessings to you. May you awaken even farther than what you are. May you upshift into the highest vibrational format. Blessings to the pure spirit of Lake Superior. Blessings to the candle. Blessings to the rock. This is the rock that Lake Ontario would like to gift now to Lake Superior during fall equinox. Blessings and blessings and blessings to the rock. Blessings and blessings and blessings that you bring, of course, a beautiful message from Lake Ontario. A message to the beautiful waters of pure Lake Superior. Lake Superior, your Great Lakes sister, Lake Ontario, has a beautiful gift for you. She would like for you to receive this rock from her shoreline. It is a symbol of her love for you. It is a symbol of the coalescing that all of the Great Lakes is doing. A coalescing of the waters. A coalescing of the land. And a coalescing of all of the waters and land. A coalescing of all the spirits of all of the Great Lakes. And as the final rock will be placed into Lake Michigan on first quarter moon ceremony, during that time, this pure spirit of Great Lakes will coalesce and rise up from the central earth. And then we will have pure waters spread upon the entire earth as the water lines go from here from the Great Lakes all the way around the globe. Deep, deep honor and gratitude. I am Lila Brown. I am the Pentagram Earth Goddess and I am in deep humility and deep, deep honor to be the messenger. Blessings rock. Thank you.
waters. Thank you, Lake Superior. Blessings. Blessings, blessings. And the rock from Lake Ontario has been swept away. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today for our brief fall equinox ceremony. May you have a fantastic day. Aho, Alelu, Namaste.